My name is Jim Moros. I'm going to kind of talk about uh, unity and uh, the Republican Party and election. <laughs> okay, so last year, my name is Jim Moros, by the way. I live up in Danvers, Mass. Uh, last year, we had a lot of speakers come. It was like almost every month we had someone talk about Republican rebranding. We're going to do, you know, we want to change our message. We want to be a, a, a more lovable Republican Party. Okay, so <laughs> I've. So I've listened to it, and just so, uh, you know, I'm not only a Republican, I'm a member of the Tea Party. So I was in the North Shore Tea Party, we were, we're up there in the North Shore. So we recombined ourselves, we're going to take the message, we're going to re, we're rebranding right now, okay? So we're calling ourselves Tea Party Alliance, okay? So what we want to do is alliance, by definition, we got to focus on our common, you know, issue. So one common issue is, and, I, and I, as if I haven't heard it from everybody who talked before me today, is that we got people that are, they know what's so good for us. They make laws, they insult justice with the multiplicity of laws. And the only way to get them out is to vote them out. And we have to unite. I'm glad the Mass Citizens for Life is here because, you know, we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. We have to separate the issues, I think Ed kind of said, from the people that are in there. We just got to get them out. They got to go. Mm -hmm. So I did have a hand out there. It is the Mass, I mean the Tea Party Alliance, and I, you know, we got our mission and everything else in there. And uh, on the on the back side, I got my secret plan, which I'm going to share only with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, number 17 on on the on the plan is the sum total of everything we've done for the last 20 years has has gotten us. $17 trillion worth of debt and truckloads of unconstitutional legislation, absurd interpretations of law by the judicial system, and as someone just spoke, we've got governors and presidents making lists of laws they're not going to enforce. Okay, so where does it end? It's got to end with us. We have to come together. I, I don't know how we do it, I, I don't know. But we have to focus on the common cause, and that is number one. Job one, we've got to vote these other people out. The liberal, socialist, conservatives have got to go. Whoever replaces them, I don't care. We shouldn't care. Anybody's got to be better what's in there. They have to be. They have to be. And at least we can control them. <laughs> because if they're new, they're going to have to listen to that constituent. We've got to work their way around. But these entrenched incumbents are killing the country. They're killing the state. We're all on the fast track to Detroit. That's where we're going. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so, okay, I'll be right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. You know, when I read the paper, and I can't tell half the time. If it's from some liberal hack, socialist progressive that's just slamming social conservatives or you know, uh, <laughs> Republicans, they just do it. It's it's, it's second nature. Or is or if it's you know one of our own. I mean, you got Boehner, John McCain, Tom uh, Wilson. <laughs> and you know everybody's at war with the Tea Party. Everybody's at war with everybody. We're fighting inside. A house divided can't stand. Okay, so we have to come on the common ground. We get about this for one election, that's all. Let's just vote. Banana heads up. Uh, Do you have okay. another minute? One more minute. One more minute? Okay, I'll take questions, but I did want to say CPAC. My granddaughter goes to St. Anne's book. She went up to CPAC. She was kind of skittish and everything else. She came back, she was motivated, she loved it, it was great. You know, one thing, you know, she, she was just motivated. There was a lot of good stuff that happened. And Dr. Carlson, he was interviewed this week, and he said, we should update our ballots and remove all the party affiliations so that people would know who, to ha who they would need to vote for. Because, and that's a great idea because all the illegal aliens go in, all the D vote, D vote. It's in the plan. It tells you how they do it. You know, we got to do the same thing. So, okay, that's it. Questions? Questions? Who's speaking? Oh, uh, Jeff Wilson. I oh, Jeff, on. okay. Uh, I noticed here in the mission, yeah, it says uh, core values of fiscal responsibility, constitutionally limited government, and free markets. So I certainly have no quarrel with any of that. 
But uh, I'm wondering, do you feel as though this is what you have to do in order to get to, you know, go together, no, no splitting? Because what, what, what is obviously not there is any, any, so, any recognition of a social issue well, whatsoever. It, it, exactly. And again, that kind of goes to what, it, it is self-evident what divides us, okay? So you can look at what's happening in reality. In reality, you take who's running us, the, 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 the liberals, the fiscal liberals, and social liberals, okay? So what do we got? We got a train wreck of, of $17 trillion worth of debt and a whole truckload of unconstitutional, so let's, we have to start somewhere. We're gonna, we'll fight all day long over abortion, over gay rights, over everything else, but the bottom line is, let's, we gotta start somewhere. So let's yeah. start, like, Check. okay. Uh, your topic is one that's near and dear to my heart. And as you can tell, my heart has a, has a lot. But uh, my point is, is that you had just said that, uh, you know, we've got to get these liberals and socialists and whatever nomenclature. Uh, I would like to point out that that's part of the divisive language. We need to precisely say, we need to get people out who want to waste your money, who want to steal your freedom. And then eventually by having that drumbeat of a message, people will understand, ah, that's the socialist liberal Democrats. You are exactly right, and hi, my name is Jim, and I'm my own worst enemy. <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm a recovering, you know, I mean, yes, we all have to watch what we say. And, and, and you're right, we go to, and I, I, I have to watch it. I mean, you can call me a social conservative all day. That's not the issue, that, but the issues are, when you look at liberals and socialists and progressives and rhinos and, and uh, so, so cons, whatever you call them, those are terms that kind of just define what you are. Jeez. It's the bad attitude that goes before and after the label that causes all the polarization and angst and everything else. Jim, thank you. Okay. John.